I would tell all the women like if you have a passion, if you want to start something new, don't think twice. Just start. You will get the ideas in your way. So that is one message I wanted to give to all, especially women. Like you don't have to do a diploma in business, or you don't have to do an MBA or something. Like everything you need is available on the internet. We live in an age where uh, internet is better, uh, teaching you better than schools and colleges right now. Hello everyone. Greetings from G Krishnan. Welcome to my YouTube channel G Krish TV. When the pandemic started, the lockdown was imposed. We have seen lot of activities on the social media, on the Facebook, on the WhatsApp forward, on the YouTube. So we find numerous forwards in our WhatsApp message. Some messages are very useful from health point of view. Some are useful from financial aspect. some on the covid update more on the political scenario in india few forwards in the whatsapp are very informative educative and interesting sometimes it is thought provoking also so as we receive lot of forwards in day to day life i found one interesting forward from a group wherein we have members from all over south india in that group i found there was a video in kannada language it is a woman who speaks on the basics of startup company for a creative design uh, that prompted me to find out and establish the contact i was able to contact a lady by name mrs shruti of course she is based in bangalore when i contacted her she informed it was her brother by name kishan who encouraged her to make a beginning in this startup towards creative design today i have got two guests both brother and sister uh, mr kishan joining in this interview from montreal canada and mr shruti from bangalore on behalf of g krish tv i welcome both kishan and mr shruti let me start my interview with mr kishan kishan you did be in mechanical engineering and you got a placement in india yet you chose a path you went all the way to vancouver to do a pg diploma and masters in advanced visual effects why is that different path you took uh, first of all uh, thanks for having me it's a nice honor uh, but uh, to answer your question uh, i always had the passion Uh, when it comes to music and uh, movies and visual effects uh, since a really young age uh, mm -hmm. but uh, i wanted to make it my uh, lifetime career at some point uh -huh. so after i did my uh, be in mechanical engineering uh, i thought that uh, if i had to change my career now it's now's the time like uh, later it might be too late later the industry might change so i took like a leap of a leap of faith oh. and i uh, talked to my dad my uh, my mom and dad and told them that uh, i want to pursue my passion and that's how it began like uh, uh, pg diploma in visual effects it's uh, and I did my masters in advanced visual effects and i moved to montreal and that's when i started working and it's the best decision i made in my life what appealed to me in that youtube video by your sister corneas what do you mean by corneas uh, corneas is a, it's a family name it's a family surname we wanted to establish a brand name that uh, represents our whole family business okay. we started as a t-shirt printing business uh, we are slowly moving to printing uh, artwork on hoodies sweatshirts and even kids t-shirts now uh, but our main business model is always to print uh, art on the on clothes that's the main uh, business model and now we have started to collaborate with uh, other artists who who has the passion for you know drawing painting and everything so we are trying to make their hobbies as a as, as a business as well apart from this uh, creative design which you are doing in the name of corneas are you in the normal professional life also Yeah, 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 I'm working as a 
to be technical it's called fx technical director it's like doing special effects for movies like uh, explosion destruction uh, that is my uh, main job i started this kornaya as a hobby during the pandemic because uh, we weren't uh, going to work we were working from home so i had enough time to do my research uh, to see what's trending in social media to see what good ideas might uh, uh, what what might be a good idea to start a business with uh, so kornayas was born then then and like because uh, we have artists in our family i am an artist by profession so oh, i see so instead of wasting my you know uh, everybody's talent or hobbies i thought it would be a really good idea to make a business out of it so that's how kornayas was born but uh, Uh, in spite of kornayas my main job has always been a priority uh, was that's why i bought uh, shruti in uh, to kornaya so that she can uh, run it as a you know main uh, main business do you call it as a still a startup or you say a small business establishment can you explain the difference how does kornaya fit into this uh, i think all companies uh, like any online or tech or uh, internet companies they always begin as a startup so the, the, the i would say kornaya is a startup uh, I, uh, a startup is more like uh, a, a small company that has a really good potential to become really big at some point like amazon or flipkart uh, that's defined as a startup small business is more like uh, a taxi company or a small uh, car repair shop where there are only a uh, few employees uh, they have a structure and everything and uh, they don't have the potential that a startup has so i would define that as small business uh, to be to give a more elaborate example i would say a taxi is a small business but uber is a startup mm-hmm. so uber has a really good potential they are international company now but taxis are only like small 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 business in uh, small cities and stuff like that uh, but yeah kornayas is always a startup uh, uh, that's my opinion but i i would say a startup or a small business depends on the person who's running the company okay it depends on their opinion and uh, their idea of uh, the future how the company wants to grow so kornayas is a startup but once we become let's say we once we open in different countries maybe in 10 or 20 years mm-hmm. uh, we will be called as a business corporation like flipkart or amazon okay now tell me is kornia is registered in in the country of canada or in uh, bangalore where your sister is now residing so kornia is full indian it's registered to uh, it's a indian registered it's indian company okay uh, because uh, when i was in canada i started in canada uh but because of the pandemic uh, i think all the borders were closed mm-hmm. uh, to canada so there was a lot of challenging times in the beginning uh, so i decided to totally move kornayas to canada to india okay so that is easier to for to ship and everything uh but uh, i think india has a really good uh, market compared to canada okay now how big it has expanded from the day you started uh like uh, the day i started I, th- i think if i can still remember i think it's uh, august of 20 20 20 okay during the pandemic time only yeah okay. like uh, my idea my idea i started to plan to st- begin kornayas like early as may mm-hmm. but i had to find enough time to build the website and everything so we re- i started technically i started in august 2020 okay but uh, i had few sales in canada uh, back then by my friends and uh, my few of my families of uh, my friends mm-hmm. but uh, the since as the corona virus uh, like the country situation started getting a lot worse canada closed its borders to a lot of countries like china india and everything so i couldn't import any t-shirts to canada to print so that's when i bought in my sister talked to her talked to her about the ideas like uh, what i had in mind and everything uh, so uh, the in december 2020 i think uh, shruti started the, uh, i made a website 
uh, around uh, November. Mm-hmm. And around December, Shruti, uh, Shruti started uh, selling T-shirts to family members as a beginning, then friends, then the public. Like we, okay. have, we had to go step by step. Okay. We can't just sell it to public directly. We have to sell it to family and friends first to get some feedback, all the tips and tricks and everything. Then we started selling it to public. Okay. Uh, but uh, that's how we started. Uh, so, so far, uh, so good. Yeah. Okay. Right. To explain more about Kornayas, I think uh, Shruti is more uh, uh, the right person to talk about it than me because she has been running it for the past uh, uh, seven to eight months. Okay. So to be honest, she knows a lot about it uh, more than me. So I think uh, she'll take over from here. Now, welcome Shruti. Understand that you are a qualified engineer. Where did your uh, journey start in the professional life after getting the engineering qualification? Thank you, first of all, for uh, giving me this opportunity and uh, thank you, Kishan, for uh, making me uh, the co-founder of Corneas. And uh, to answer your question, uh, I am a B.Tech biotechnology graduate. And uh, after finishing my graduation, I was working for a genetics company. And after post-marriage, I got married and after post-marriage, I had to move to US because I'm an IT spouse. So I had to accompany my husband. And eventually when we came back to India, I had a career break because we were in US for more than three years. Three years. So that, that was a career break in my resume. So then for short time, I was a science teacher. And then eventually... Because of Kishan, I landed in Kornayas and I'm taking care of it as a full time now. Uh, tell me, Shruti, is it uh, your own interest or it was a nagging by your brother? You were pushed into that creative design? He was very uh, persistent telling me to upskill my artistic skills because I'm a traditional artist. I used to draw from a very, very young age. And uh, I was, I used to sell a lot of paintings, wall arts and all such things. But after Kishan told me to upskill myself, because this is the era of digital art. So uh, he kept telling me, he kept pressurizing me, like, you have to uh, learn new things because the old things are not going to do any good in the future. So he was very persistent. Maybe that push is required at one point so that made a real big difference in my uh, career in my life or like i could say it in my life yeah okay so he was very persistent he was not nagging okay uh, shruti now tell me the baton of corneas handed over to you by your brother now how do you carry the activities of corneas corneas currently is operation from bangalore but uh, like we had to do a lot of trial and error. Any startup is, they go through a lot of process. So first I had to upskill myself. Mm-hmm. So uh, I had to learn Adobe Illustrator and a lot of the Photoshop and uh, courses like that. So at first one was upskilling. The second one is I had to look for a good printer who is ready to print whatever we design. So that was not easy initially because the inks involved, the uh, life of the prints. There were so many things to uh, take care of. So the second point is we had to go look for a good printer who uh, prints for a very effective price. Third one was logo and social media. So any brand a logo is the first thing we'll actually think about. So we needed a logo and Kishan was the one who uh, designed a logo for us. So that was the first basic thing we did the logo and the we had to we had to create a presence like the brand visibility so then social media helped us with that so we opened up a lot of uh, we made ourselves visible in instagram facebook twitter and all such things so the next one was uh, fabric sourcing because that's the lifeline of our brand if the fabric is good uh, our brand will uh, reach a high a different height in in a very short time so that was the major part so we uh, got a really good vendor who gave us 100 percent cotton t-shirts and uh, and i had to personally test the wear and tear like i had to watch them a number of times i had to see if the prints are going to stay for certain number of washes 
because that is the credi- credibility of any brand right so that was a major thing the next major thing was shipping because i am just operational from bangalore but my printers and the vendors are in a different remote location i had to send it towards uh, from that location to all over pan india so shipping was uh, another uh, big task so i had to explore a lot of options ship rocket uh, delivery blue dart there are so many options who give us a uh, membership on different shipping options and the last one were these miscellaneous things like gst because my, our brand is registered in india and uh, G- when uh, when uh, we sought for corporate orders the gst was a mandatory thing to do and even f- to op- open a current account gst was very much mandatory gst is another uh, thing we had to um, research on we had to get guidance from an accountant and all such things and uh, next one was uh, marketing see we we had nice designs we had a good vendor we had a good printer we had shipping options but uh, getting that brand outside is a very big task so to a point to an extent social media helps because we have accounts in various social media so again marketing was another uh, big thing to explore on and when i say marketing since we had a website the brand visibility was a was uh, very good uh, like what to say the brand visibility was made easy with the website so that the entire credit of making a website goes to kishan i think so he can elaborate on it more than me because he did the website from scratch so i'll let kishan talk on it uh, so uh, yeah website was a huge challenge for me in the beginning of uh, cornias because uh, our whole uh, business model the main thing that's required was the website because we needed a platform where people could uh, um, shop for themselves instead of uh, asking us for designs every time they want to pick something so i my background is mechanical and uh, visual effects so i had no relation to it at all like no i don't know a thing about web designing i had no idea what to do but thankfully we live in a time where everything can be learned from youtube or uh, facebook even who knows so i had to do like a short course on uh, from youtube like how to build a website from scratch so that saved a lot like a lot of money because uh, in the beginning the original idea was to uh, ask some of my uh, friends in it to do build a website for us and even shruti uh, asked her one of your friends to build a website and the initial the minimum amount they uh, they were asking was uh, 60 to 80000 uh, rupees to build a website uh, which was way too much for us to uh, be as an initial investment so instead of doing that i did a youtube course uh, to how to build a website and i took like uh, two days off from my work and i built the website from scratch like uh, learning like step by step watching the video and everything so that saved us almost uh, like 50000 rupees and we uh, and there were some uh, issues because i since i don't know about uh, how to make a website we had to use our you know get some help from our friends and shruti's friends to test everything whether the payment is working whether the delivery is happening correctly whether uh, you know they are getting the gst number whether they are getting the receipt and everything so that took like a month uh, to you know uh, figure uh, figure all these things out Uh, but eventually i think uh, we have a solid website now and i'm kind of proud of myself that <laughs> i know how to do a website now now please tell me uh, you have incurred some expenditure towards your website creation what about the other investment initial investment when she started 7 uh, months ago what is the uh, cost involved in this like surprisingly and thankfully we didn't have we didn't put too much money in the investment like the only investment we made Uh, was uh, testing all the fabrics you know like uh, we had uh, different vendors in the beginning so we can't just uh, pick a vendor and say we're going to go with you forever so we had to like uh, test each and every vendor buy some samples uh, then we had to send some sample to our family and friends to see what their feed- to to have their feedback and then we have to de- test different printers to see how the quality of the print was 
So I would say the approximately our initial investment was uh, less than uh, eight thousand to ten thousand rupees. I see. Mm-hmm. So we saved like a lot of money when it comes to website because that was a huge investment for us, and we didn't uh, feel confident at that time to spend too much money because we didn't know how the business was going to go. So we thought uh, uh, we saved a lot of money on the website uh, front. Okay. Now coming back to Shruti, uh, what are the challenges you faced uh, for the past seven months? So you are on that. What um, do you ask? Mm. Like challenges, I think so. Any brand in a start will have their own set of challenges, but fortunately, uh, we didn't face much because we were like a uh, like a small startup brand. But I I will say. Um, we had few challenges in shipping because what happens is let's say i ship out an order and uh, the client says he didn't receive it yet so uh, i had to keep track of every single thing every time i had to call up them uh, the shipping partner asking what happened to the shipment and all such things so the shipping the tracking of the shipping was one next one is time management like we are only two people growing a brand like we are the accountant we are the web designer we are the uh, social media marketing we are like two people uh, juggling like uh, 20 jobs at a time so that was one major thing and i hopefully we will grow to hire someone in future so that is one uh, next one was the covid time like uh, unfortunately uh, we had a no sales phase also in covid because nobody was in a mood to buy anything and uh, T-shirts being uh, our market is colleges and IT companies. So both of them were at home. So nobody was actually in a mood to buy T-shirts and all such things. So I would say COVID was a very big challenge for us. But we made that phase fruitful by uh, creating inventory. Like we designed a lot in that phase. So we made sure uh, we had good designs when the uh, sales after the. covid uh, phase ender we had a good inventory of good designs so i would say that was a challenge and um, there is one um, major challenge was chasing negativity because we both are engineers right i'm telling about when the brand started when i said few people like i am into t-shirt business they would ask me like being an engineer why do you want to do this mm-hmm. like because i am a biotechnologist by i am a graduate in biotechnology he being he has his own kind of uh, uh, job running around so they were like why do you want to do this you could have you could have a better job like um, so something like that so that kind of clouded our minds for some part like the chasing that negativity was a very big challenge and uh, i had to ask uh, for help after this gst happened uh i had to hire an accountant because i had no clue how to file the returns uh though it might seem like a small thing to do since we both we we don't we, we knew nothing about accounts so we had to hire uh, help for us to file the gst and that's it like there are small small challenges i think so it's a part of all growing brands so these are the small challenges and now we are in a good uh, shape we know what to expect and we are in a good position to uh, answer all these uh, challenges in a good way okay and what about the cheerful encouraging moments in this 7 uh, months encouraging is uh, we had a really good uh, customer base the first order which we received was from family she was one of our cousin like she immediately placed a bulk order like we were like uh, we were in cloud 9 so that was a very big uh, very cheerful moment for us and uh, uh, that kind of jump started our uh, brand like initially when someone comes and places gives you a big order right we feel very uh, encouraged and um, so we are really thankful for having good customer base and uh, many of them are returning customers because once they buy from us uh, if the quality is good and whenever they think of a t-shirt they will think of kornaya so that returning customers are there and uh, recently we had few actresses purchasing from us so that was really i felt really happy uh, seeing because of the social media again 
social media is a very powerful tool and uh, uh, they come to our pages they browse our designs and eventually they'll go and buy from our website and when we see few actors actors and actresses buying it was a really good feeling and there were few influencers who bought from us and they tagged us in their stories so it's it worked kind of influencer marketing also so uh, it it's kind of a good feeling to see your artworks on uh, people like appreciating your work and all such things and uh, working with my brother of course like uh, that is again a very uh, um, cheerful thing okay uh, shruti tell me if somebody is celebrating 80th birthday of their parents in the family they are interested to have a particular design for the male me- members of the family equally for the female members for their sarees and also for their kids what is the minimum uh, quantity you uh, you will accept the orders okay uh, the usp of our brand is customization like we customize for every occasion and every event for everyone presently we have t-shirt hoodies and sweatshirts and we can customize them according to uh, their taste and we recently did a uh, uh, a group a t-shirt like there was a gang of uh, friends who wanted to go to goa together and they wanted uh, uh, like a, something related to goa so what we did is we designed something with uh, goa theme and the whole group wore the same kind of t-shirt and we had also we had also done for a 40th uh, birthday where uh, they had specifically asked for uh, some traditional design and we designed it according to their age groups and the entire family it was gifted to the entire family mm-hmm. so customization is one of our biggest uh, strength i would say and um, i think so none of the brands does that so we are kind of proud of it okay and uh, what is the message you would you like to give you want to add up with your experience in corneas for the past 7 months what do you like to share with the viewers of g chris tv i would like to uh, tell people like see if you want to follow your passion like if you have a passion for something you should not think twice you should just take a leap of faith and start doing it and uh, i especially wanted to tell something to uh, women who had a career break due to your personal family reasons or you uh, you took a break because of childbirth or you took a break because you wanted to travel and getting back to the wagon is kind of really hard in this market so um, so if you want to create something like if you are good in creating something i would really tell you to start uh, your own venture and um, i kind of lead a, um, a a tribe of 60 small business owners like all are women in it and it is really inspiring uh, to be in that group because we have college students we have housewives we have uh, people like me who had career breaks and all of them are doing so many different things in it like i for example i would say there is a hr executive who took a career break because of childbirth and she didn't want to go back to her go back to her job because she had a baby to take care of but in in her free time what she is doing is she is making masks she is making a lot of tote bags and she is selling like anything everything is handmade and there is one student with us who does a very similar thing it, it it's kind of a pocket money for them and i also have uh, one brand um, who uh, creates beautiful things from abandoned clothes like she is reusing the clothes to make mats table clothes and she's giving a second life to all this uh, wasted fabrics so i would tell all the women like if you have a passion if you want to start something new don't think twice just start you will get the ideas in your way so that is one message i wanted to give to all especially women so that is the only thing from me okay and also to the viewers of g chris tv yes okay <laughs> now kishan would you like to add anything to what she said i think she put it really well but if if i want if i'm thinking about adding something to that i would say uh, you don't have to have a business mind to start a company like you don't have to do a diploma in business or you don't have to do an mba or something like everything you need is available on the internet we live in an age where uh internet is better uh, teaching you better than schools and colleges right now 
So I think uh, if you want to start something like a business, do your research very well. Uh, don't just jump into it like uh, blindsided, like have support of your family, ask help from your friends. Uh, watch a lot of videos online, uh, make notes, uh, do your uh, uh, research and development, then start. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask your friends or family because they are the ones who's going to push you, who's going to give you a uh, who's going to give you a good start. So that's that's the only thing I would like to add uh, on what uh, on top of what Shruti, uh, Shruti said. Okay, I thank uh, both uh, Shruti Jairaman of Bangalore and Mr. Kishan speaking from Montreal, Canada. You gave very useful tips of how to make a beginning of the startup company. I think uh, the rich experience for the past seven months, maybe it is for seven months, but I think to begin a startup company, you would have faced many teething problems, which both Sudhi Jairaman and uh, Kishan, you explained enough. I think this would motivate both men and women, especially the women folks, as uh, Shruti Jairaman was mentioning, I mean, if they are uh, for a particular reason, uh, there is a break in their career, they can restart pursuing their passion and making it a profession. So on behalf of G Chris TV, I thank both Shruti and Kishan for the wonderful uh, presentation of how to run a startup company. Thank you. I think uh, we have to thank you uh, for uh, finding us on your uh, forwards and reaching out to us. And uh, it's been a really good experience uh, when somebody asks us to explain our journey. So thank you as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Bye.